So by now, I know that I'm super late to the party on this, but I had to talk about this because Donald Trump is losing his mind, and I know it's Donald Trump, so he already lost his mind. You can't lose something that you already didn't have in the first place, but his attacks on Joe Biden are getting more and more unhinged to the extent that it's forcing Laura Ingram to call him out for being too conspiratorial or too extremist. So he contends in this interview that Joe Biden is being controlled by people in the dark shadows. I'd like to mention Biden because he's not controlling anything. Who, who do you they think is pulling him. Biden's strings? Uh, is it former Obama People officials? that you've never heard of. People that are in the dark shadows. People that oh, What are, does that mean? That sounds like conspiracy theory. Dark shadows. No, what is people that? people that you haven't heard of. They're, they're people that are on the streets. They're people that are controlling the streets. We had somebody get on a plane from a certain city this weekend. And in the plane, it was almost completely loaded with, with thugs wearing these dark uniforms, black uniforms with gear and this and that. They're, they're on a plane. Where's the where's this? I'll tell you sometime, but I, I, it's under investigation right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to process that. It was already stupid enough for him to say that Joe Biden is being controlled by the far left. If that were true, wouldn't we have him endorsing Medicare for all and a Green New Deal and pot legalization? So for you to say that, it makes you sound like a dumbass. But for you to say this, that Biden is being controlled by people in the dark shadows? What does that even mean? Are you being literal? Are you being abstract? Are we talking about nameless advisors? Are we talking about Antifa? What are we talking about? Well, he was asked to clarify, and it gets even more confusing. Uh, there are people that are on the streets, people that are controlling the streets. Okay, maybe the protesters. Uh, we had somebody get on a plane from a certain city this weekend, and in the plane, it was almost completely loaded with thugs wearing these dark uniforms, black uniforms with gear, and this and that. They're on a plane. Okay, but like, what does that mean? What uniforms are they wearing? Was there any insignia on it or logos? Like, are we supposed to believe that an Antifa army got on a plane and they were like going to some city to do violence? What am I supposed to take away from this? You are the president of the United States. What do you want us to learn from this? It doesn't make any sense. Logically, I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know what you're trying to say. Use your words, Don. This doesn't make sense. So this is my theory. He, like, made it up. And, you know, he started talking, didn't necessarily know where he was going to go with that sentence. And he just had to stop to say we're investigating it because he's like, okay, I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this. There's no other explanation for it. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Does anyone believe that Joe Biden is controlled by the shadow people? Like, do we mean, like, actual monsters shadow monsters what do we mean do we mean advisors corporate interests if that's what you mean you've got to say it. you're the president you can't like leave us with these types of weird analogies if you're trying to be abstract and edgy like what the fuck do you mean this is stupid this is stupid like you're losing your mind you criticize biden for you know not being able to articulate himself and then you go on to accuse him of uh being controlled by people in the dark shadows and that there's people getting on planes wearing these black uniforms and you know that they're thugs what does that even mean i don't know what that means does anyone know what that means like he's getting dumber and dumber as the years go on and he's becoming unhinged even more so than he was before what are you saying the fact that laura ingram had to actually press you on this it shows that you're losing it donald you are losing it if laura ingram thinks you're too extreme then you're too extreme. You're too far gone. But I mean, we already knew this about Donald Trump. We knew this. But does anybody actually believe that this is going to be persuasive? Like, do your viewers or followers, like, do they know what you mean by this? Is it like, you know, when, when you are talking to a toddler and they're trying to tell you something, but you don't understand it, but the mom knows, like, are your supporters like the mom where they know exactly what you mean by this? I don't get it. Like, what are you trying to imply? It's so stupid that I have to assume you're just talking out of your ass. Nobody believes that Joe Biden is controlled by shadow people unless, you know, you're using shadow people as a synonym 
for corporate America or interests. But I mean, you can't criticize him for that. So I don't even know if that's what you're trying to say, because you're also controlled by the shadow people. If by shadow people, we're using that as a synonym for corporate America. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And it makes you sound like a stupid person to say things like this. It makes you sound worse than Alex Jones. At least when Alex Jones spreads his dumbass conspiracy theories, he's explicit. He's clear. He's saying, when I say lizard people, I mean literal lizard people. People who are wearing human skin underneath their reptilian bodies. Like, we know what he's trying to say. But, like, with this, I don't even know what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. Somebody got on a plane with thugs wearing black uniforms. What uniform? Are you trying to convince us that Antifa is, like, forming an army? I don't know what the fuck you're trying to say from this. But... What I do know is that the president of the United States is extremely fucking stupid. And while he tries to convince us that Joe Biden, you know, can't think straight, he's doing the same thing. I don't know what shadow people means. And I don't think he knows what shadow people means. I think that he doesn't think when he speaks and he just says things like this. But his supporters will like take it as some brilliant you know, thing that he's saying like, oh, this is a revolution. We knew about the shadow people. And finally, the president is confirming it. We are in a post-factual world where people just like construct their own realities and live in those realities. There's no objective empirical reality. Like people just choose the world that they want to live in. Unbelievable. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs>